hi guys welcome back to my channel so i hoped you have saw how to install cyanogen mod 13 on the galaxy s4 i9 500 on my previous video so let's show you how it works on the galaxy s4 let me just adjust the brightness really quickly so you don't have backlight issues and everything has been going really smooth right now as you can see if i tap on the dialer it uh, completely opens and there is no lag at all as you can see really fast and fluid and you just go to the message as i have um, installed the full gaj apps version i have uh, lost my trash budget and messaging as trash budget or anything else we call it also the cyanogen mode camera but anyways the camera is not working but also in marshmallow you get a new camera which allow the permission as you can see if i go here and do something it will just crash because it is the early build it's not working right now and also my wi-fi is not working i don't know why it was working previously i formatted it and uh, checked it again but it's not working again i don't know why let me just bring really it closer and i hope you can see right now let me just show you the cyanogen mode version as you can see i9 500 version 6.0.1 which is the latest one uh, of the android and security patch is also december 1 also the api level is 4 and cyanogen mode 13 we just check out the easter eggs really quickly as you can see the most awaited marshmallow on the galaxy s4 you just add three fingers over here and the top and i failed it's really hard but it's a uh, if you play single player it's a bit easier than lollipop actually a lot easier so if we go into the developer options let me quickly show you if you go into the developer options you will find an interesting thing over here bottom you just so uh, enable these things um if it works so as you can see there is the multi-window mode on the marshmallow let's just check it out go back let's just check the launcher really quickly and you get the stock apps from the Mar from the cyanogen mode 13 like the music the audio effects and all are the g, uh, g apps like um, everything the fate uh, the gmail street view themes are from the cyanogen mode and it's working which is great i can't show you the right now cause the wi-fi is not working yeah i mean my wi-fi is working but the device is not scanning it uh, also we get the downloads app over here let's just check out and we also get project 5 which is not in india but you get do get it let me just check out the wallpapers oops wallpapers um, and if you load it like this and again load the another wallpaper it will just crash so you have no choice only uh, one time to select your wallpaper let's just shoot um, choose really quickly which shoots for the screen there we go and the tap on now has not been uh, enabled you have to go to the buttons and uh, go bottom the home button and double tap action to the search assistant and as you can see if i go to the home screen and double tap it there comes the thing but uh, as the wi-fi is not working we can't get it working right now i hope it should work <laughs> let's just check out the multi window as you can see upper left side and at the bottom we have got the google now and on the top we have the dialer which is great it's uh, working really great also not much uh, much to check out 
than the previous version also we have swipeable and toggles over here which is great if you want to add more toggles and new things i have seen here is tap and pay under the nfc under the nfc also uh, uh, if you mute the volume completely down it will go to the do, do not disturb and alarms only mode also in the lock screen we get a bold font and uh, uh, search assistant right away from here this is open it and it's working just go to the settings again you just said something i didn't hear what it was well that's cool <laughs> cuz i have muted all the uh, volumes but it's still saying no we have still media on um lock screen buttons battery has some new things like optimization over here where we can optimize the apps and the memory and as you can see we get 1.1 gb of free memory which is great this is uses on marshmallow 2 new version of android also in the uh, i guess accessibility we get uh, new things like google over here directly which can be accessed through the app drawer the system drawer files are here also one thing i'm missing i don't know what i've shown you everything basically is so, yes if you go into the apps there are the apps permission you can uh, set permissions for the app like the camera i have granted two uh, permissions but you can select for sharing these all so guys that's it for the latest builds of cyanogen mode 13 on the galaxy s4 i9 500 and one thing to show you uh, if you notice in cyanogen mode 12 you can't really use the screen recorder but in this you get screen cast as stock and it's working without any bugs let me just show you screen cast and the recording should have begun yes as you can see and the chrome has stopped as you can see we are recording the screen right now it's laggy a bit and you just stop it so let's just check it out how it's recorded and this is actually the record i guess nope something's gone wrong let's just go into the photos app the gallery has uh, wiped because of the g apps get started no thanks and i guess it will not load no there it is let's just play it and as you can see it's working good we have uh, vsync issues over there but um, this is quite good for early builds as you can see so guys thanks for watching subscribe to my channel for more galaxy s4 videos tips and tricks and mods so guys stay tuned and thanks for watching